Howdy people and welcome to this video where we're going to be taking a closer look at the upcoming Tier 7 Heavy German Premium Tank, the VK4503. Well, this thing is... Uh, I think it's supposed to be the closest thing to a uh, Tiger 1, I presume. It is very, very, very similar to the Tiger 1. Not in looks, but in uh, general characteristics. And I guess the best way to compare this thing would be to um, compare it to a Tiger 1, right? First of all, you just get the, the general stuff. This thing has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 crew members. If you're interested in uh, training your German heavy crews. Uh, the shell uh, the shell costs 252 for a shell for a 240 um, damage shell. That's pretty cheap, I guess, considering the, the penetration is quite good on the gun 203. So 252 uh, credits for uh, AP shell, 4400 for uh, APCR shell, and again 252 for um, high explosive. Just by taking a closer look of the tank, we can see that this uh, heavy tank has 1400 hit points, that is 100 less than the Tiger 1. The gun stats seem to be pretty good, 1.9 aim time, well with the uh, crew skills and all, 031 accuracy. If you want to improve those, of course, you can always put uh, chocolate on your tank. It goes to 1.8 aim time and 0.3 accuracy. As for the crew skills, well, I would basically recommend you having, you know, the usual six cents and the commander and repairs and everything else. After you got that sorted, you can go for snapshot smooth ride to help the gun handling for the V-range skills because this thing has very good uh, base V-range. We're going to compare it to the Tiger 1 again. After you're done with the six cents repairs, smooth ride snapshot, V-range skills, recon um, situation awareness, safe stowage. And when you got three or four skills, you can go ahead and put uh, brothers in arms in it. As for equipment, I would recommend you playing this with a gun rammer, optics, and a hands gun lane drive to shave off that, uh, that that extra aim time off of it. I guess you could also go ahead and put uh, vents if you don't want the hands gun lane drive. Uh, both would probably work. This thing packs exactly the same gun as the Tiger 1, the 8.8. 203 penetration with AP, 234 with APCR, and 44 with high explosive. The same 240 alpha damage, 033 accuracy, 2.2 aim time, which will go down with the help of uh, equipment, consumables, and crew skills. In other words, let's just compare this to the Tiger 1 and see what are the major differences between them. So on the left side we got a Tiger 1, on the right side the VK4503. Immediately you can tell the huge DPM difference between the two. Tiger has 2,241 DPM, while the VK has 1,787. That is a huge difference between the two, which you'll probably notice in uh, battle. Same penetration, same alpha damage. 934 rate of fire on the Tiger 1 versus 745 on the VK. A uh, Tiger a Tiger 1 without any equipment or uh, consumables and stuff with 100% crew on it has 6.42 reload time. While the VK has a massive 8 seconds. You heard right. 8 seconds for a 240 alpha damage gun. That is horrible. Shell velocity is the same and ammo capacity. So first battle DPM. Tiger 1 wins clearly. Let's go down to gun handling. This is where the VK starts to shine, I guess. Tiger 1, 2.59 aim time versus 2.11 on the VK. 0.33 accuracy on the Tiger versus 0.32 on the VK. And that's not all. The dispersion values on the VK are all slightly better than the Tiger. 0.18, 0.18, 0.10 compared to the Tiger's. So this tells us that the aim time of the VK will be slightly better or a lot better than the Tiger 1's. So the VK404503 basically trades DPM for better gun handling. But unfortunately it trades quite a lot of DPM 
It ha also has one extra gun depression, one extra degree of gun depression compared to the Tiger 1 and two extra degrees of gun elevation. Let's go ahead to uh, mobility. Tiger 1 has 40 top speed, the VK38, so two uh, less uh, kilometers top speed for the VK. Also, uh, they both have the same horsepower, 700, but the Tiger 1 has much better power to weight ratio, 12.21 versus 10.82. But the VK has uh, better terrain resistances compared to the Tiger 1. 115 versus 086, 134 versus 096, 278 versus 182. Well, also the tra traverse speed uh, is better on the VK and the uh, whole traverse speed. Tiger wins the power to weight ratio department. VK has better resistance on the move, so the mobility of the tanks are going to be quite similar. If you go lower to armor and health, 1500 health for the Tiger 1 versus 1400 on the VK. Uh, same engine health, less track health on the VK190. On the first sight, the, the armor, the, the, the thickness of the armor might seem identical, one, 180, 80. But let's not forget that the Tiger is pretty much flat while this VK is angled. They both have the same base range, 380, which is pretty decent. It's pretty good for, uh, for a tier 7 heavy. And let's check out the armor model of the VK. Just check out the, the total armor you got in the front. 130. Let's just say 130. Let's just put the bigger number out there. <laughs> 130 cool armor. Which means you're probably going to get penned by everything. Maybe you'll get to bounce tier 5 tanks. And that's about it. Remember, this thing doesn't have preferential matchmaking, so you will meet tier 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 tanks. Maybe you'll bounce tier 5 tanks. Everything else will pen you with no problem. Even if we angle this like to extreme tanks, we still maybe get 200 armor on the upper plate, so maybe that's the only th way you're actually going to bounce something if you find someone that's silly enough to shoot your front lane instead of your side. Considering it has 80 side armor, you might think this is a very good side scraper. Well, unfortunately it isn't. Let's see your side scraper like this, right? So you're popping up with your side armor. Yeah, you got 180, 190. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, if, you, if they shoot you in the tracks, 240. Even though there's a huge uh, amount of space between the tracks and the hole, so... Yeah. So let's say you're... You're side scraping with your Tiger, with your VK, and you're hoping you're gonna bounce. Well, yeah, you got good side armor, but the front plate is still butter. 140, 140, 140, and the turret, 100, 120. There is no way you're actually gonna bounce anything with this, unless they maybe shoot your, in the turret like this, you know, like in the turret cheeks when you're watching them frontally, maybe. Or... If they shoot your gun matlet, which in some parts I guess it goes to 200, yeah, 220. For the most part, the turret is 100, 110 armored, pretty much. With the overmatchable side, not that anybody needs to overmatch. And the commanded hatch, well, 227, 88 in some parts. So the main thing is, like the Tiger, this thing doesn't have any armor. The, the armor is better than the Tiger's, but it's still not enough to actually stop anything. It uh, it actually meets, unless people shoot you at ridiculous angles. Not sure what Wargaming is thinking when they keep introducing all these uh, paper tanks. I thought they said they're going to stop making shitty premium tanks. I guess they didn't. Don't know how I'm actually gonna get to use this tank. Like I'm already having a hard time with the Tiger because it's unarmored in the corridor maps, where you can't bounce anything. And let's put it this way: the Tiger One's only advantage is the DPM, right? You can, you can, uh, you got 1.5k health, and you can one on one with other tanks and soak up their shells while you cut them down with your DPM. That's about it. Well, this thing doesn't have the DPM, it only has the gun handling. So, I don't really know what the, the true advantage of this thing will be. Well, apart from being a money maker and a credit grinder. Not really suitable for these maps that we have.
Well, I guess we talked about the tank enough. Let's see how it actually compares into a, how it actually fares into a fight. And I'm gonna tell you before, I didn't even have the patience to actually play it enough to get an ace tanker because I got bored quite fast. It doesn't really have anything special with it. I'd much rather prefer to play the tiger instead. So we're on Lakeville. It's a T-rate game. I guess we're about to see what the the VK can actually do. The good thing about this thing, just like with the Tiger One, you got 203 penetration and a gun, which probably means you're not gonna be able to. Sh we're gonna, you're not gonna need to shoot gold ammo in tier seven and eight games. Probably in tier nine games, if you have to like pen other armor tanks frontly. But for the main part, you're good to go for the penetration. I start by going here on the four line. I want to see if anybody's actually gonna provide any spots so we can. Um, so I can get some uh, some shots off, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like anybody wants to give spots. Not at all. They got a couple. Of, they got uh, an AMX there, sniping. Yeah, I shot for the ELC, but I shot the building. My awareness is so good. All I can do is pop a couple blind shots since uh, there's nobody. I have to go on spot. I'm definitely not gonna go on spot with this big ass tank with no armor. So seeing it is nothing I can do. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get get in the city and try to help the the tanks that we have there. Yeah, I gotta go carefully because we don't know if the any of their if their light tanks are actually in the in the bushes or you know. One of the ELC got spotted, so the wild T-37 could be in the bushes, waiting, so... I really don't want to get uh, get damaged before I even enter the city. This weird looking tank, I think it has the Panther Hull and the Tiger II stuck to it. It's definitely narrower than a, than a Tiger II. So that's why I'm saying it's probably the Panther. Cool. Yeah, okay, so I gotta go in. Fortunately for us, their armored tanks are on the other side, on the, what, on the two line. So I don't have to fight against, you know, IS-6 uh, and T-34. That'd be bad. There's a T-4 mod 1 here. I popped, uh, I popped a snapshot. I think he's busy with a... Uh, with a Cromwell. Yeah, he died pretty fast. Let's see if I can pop on the ELC also. You can definitely notice the gun hunting is pretty pretty nice, pretty okay. And there's an SC here. I should have went in, but we're pretty much rushing the city, so yeah, I took the shot, no problem. There's also an, e an MX, I'm kind of afraid. I don't want to get clipped by him. But he probably shot like two or three times already, so... He can't have too many too many shells left. He's fighting with the Panther 2 now, so I gotta go pop once. There we go. Oh, he still had one shell left, surprisingly. And now he's just getting ready to die. <laughs> he lifted his gun up. <laughs> I salute. Okay, there's some Cromwell here, and I think T-37 that we gotta go through. Let's see. Nope, not yet. Oh, there we go. T-37 is here. And an E-25. I guess you can snapshot quite easily with this gun. And there's something else shooting me from the back. That's probably the E-25. Can I shoot any of those? Mm, no. I gotta keep moving at this point. I'm spotted, but it doesn't really matter. Ah, the Panther died. Unfortunately, there's also an Arty in the base, and I'm afraid of that. 
Oh, there's definitely an arty in the base, and he's hiding behind a dead flipped arty. <laughs> I don't know how he managed to do that, but okay. Oh, well, luckily the VK popped them, so we don't have to worry about him. Gotta go and shoot the C29. FCM is already brawling with them. Let's see if we can bring him to his knees. Uh, oh, I got the tracks and the damage, which is good. Means I'm gonna get some assist damage too. We know this FCM keeps going in front. There we go. Well, this is where the Tiger's DPM would have been really, really good. Oh, we don't have it, unfortunately. And they both died. As for the battle results, we got 72, 73k credits, 1,727 XP, and a Confederate medal. We got 2,677 damage in total, 959 base XP. We also scrapped up um, 310 assist damage. And we ended up with 66k uh, profit. For 2.6k damage, I guess that's not so bad. You might say it's uh, yeah. You might say it's a decent uh, money maker. It does make money quite fast. But on the other side, I could make, for example, a game with a Tiger One and do three 3.5k damage and get 40k profit. So if you put that, like I got like 3k combined with the VK and I made 66k, and I could make 40k with a Tiger One with three 3.5k damage and it's not even a premium tank. It sort of starts to fade out. You know, like it does make good money, but then again, if you take a second uh, thought, it doesn't really make so uh, so much money. We all made this uh, this profit because we don't have to shoot gold ammo. Basically, the 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 tank has enough penetration on its own. Well, I guess we basically covered up uh, everything about tank. A couple of final thoughts, I guess. I'm kind of disappointed with this tank. I actually thought it's going to be better, but it only has better gun handling than the Tiger 1, and the Tiger's gun is already like pretty good in terms of gun handling, and it makes more credits. I wouldn't really say that's actually too good, but if I would have to choose between this VK and the uh, T rate lower, for example, to grind credits or to, to grind my crew, I guess I would choose the lesser evil and go for this VK, because at least this one has some mobility. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell me what you think about this uh, this tank in the, in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you think it's good enough? What would you do to change it? We gotta see how much this tank is actually gonna cost. All that we will uh, talk about later. So thank you all for watching and goodbye.